Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. This could be resonating for you, past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance for the Cancer Collective. Um, I, you know, I think Virgo had this card as well. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, so much potential. I think you kind of have your focus set on a specific someone, okay? And they have their focus in on you. And both of you want to be able to create this together. Now, there could be some obstacles, okay? You guys could even work together, go to school together. <clears throat> but both of you are, are really, like, no matter whatever else is around the two of you, whatever options potentially are there, like, you both kind of set your focus on each other, trying to see if potentially you could build something here. Wanting to invest in this. You see a lot of potential in this. Um... <clears throat> So let's see what additional messages need to come through about the situation. Okay. Okay, so I, I do see challenges here. <clears throat> it isn't all rainbows and sunshine. I mean, there are some difficulties, you know. Um, there's some stagnancy here. So there's a lot of dreaminess, a lot of hoping, like a lot of mutual energy of like desire for this. But I also feel like there's been, I, I get like energy, like multiple uh, scenarios where you guys were thinking it was going to work out or come together and it didn't like it didn't it didn't get off the ground it's like both of you have like gone back to the drawing board multiple attempts to try to make this work because you both still think that you know there could be something more here but both of you have been very disappointed in the past there's a strong energy of planning and information that's gathered here like both of you you know, really wanting to be able to celebrate this. Again, it's like multiple attempts. How do we make it work? How do we make this happen? There's distance here. There's a lot of unanswered questions. Page of Swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is curiosity. This is research. This is figuring things out. You know, wanting to have the celebration. You know, wanting to have this victory. Very much dreaming. This is fulfillment of wishes. How do you get to each other? How do you move to calmer waters? How do you navigate this? <clears throat> How do you have success here? Because, again, it's like neither one of you want to give up on the idea that this could work out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, what happened here? Somebody got cold feet. I think they're... I, I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you. Okay? With what I'm feeling here. And again, please take what resonates, leave what does not. This is very specific. I feel like you have not met this person or have not seen this person in a very long time. Um, it's like there's this plan to be together. I feel like this is a long distance relationship, okay? It's like there's been this, this, this mutual plan to be together, okay? And every time you think it's coming together, for some reason someone holds back, someone gets cold feet, it doesn't work out. There's stagnancy. Nothing's moving forward. It's suspended. It just kind of hangs there. It doesn't really go anywhere. Pisces energy with the hanged man. That's the issue. Um, and I feel like both of you have been in this place of just yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, anticipating, planning, looking out over the horizon, looking into the future, and distantly seeing a meeting uh, coming together. The opportunity, the ship coming in, you know, and it just didn't take off. And I feel like there's been multiple, multiple, emphasis on multiple failed attempts to be together in the past. But both of you still hold on to this dream, this vision that it will work. It's, it's one of these attempts that's going to have to work. 
because both of you don't want to lose this with each other. It's like, but we haven't even got to try yet. It's still so new. Unfinished business, right? You know, it can't be over. It can't be done because it hasn't even got to start yet. It hasn't even got to get good kind of energy. And you both anticipate it and long for it and you both waited for it, but the ship never came. The plans were made. The dreams were there. The talks were had, but it didn't come together. There were always obstacles, elements. Somebody got cold feet or somebody, you know, this happened or that happened or, you know, we just couldn't make it work. We couldn't be together. Something came up. Something got in the way. Something unexpected. One thing after another thing. And it's like all these failed attempts that I'm seeing here. It's like, I'm going to see you in July. I'm going to see you in October. I'm going to see you in November. January is our month. You know, next week, next, you know, tomorrow. Never got off the ground. But now there's this opportunity. You're both very focused on it because you both look, this is big. This is big. Okay. It's going to happen. It's finally here. It's within our grasp. It's going to happen. Okay. Uh, the potential here, this could, and, and you both already know it, it could be everything you've ever wanted and dreamed for. The star, it's almost like intoxicating. It's like this fantasy, this dream, this wish, this hope, this prayer. The star is someone who's incredibly beautiful, alluring. It's like you can't take, you're captivated. You can't take your eyes off of her or him. It's like you both long for each other, dream about each other. You both want to come together. Now, you could very clearly be thinking about an Aquarius or one of you may have strong Aquarius in your chart. Um, but this is a wish. It's a fantasy. You're both dreaming about it. You're both hoping for it. You both. This is also an indication of reunion coming together. So the potential is strongly there. However... I f I'm going to be honest, okay? Don't get offended. I'm, I'm just here to tell you the truth, what I see. I think that both of you are really working yourselves up for this. But one of you, and I, I'm going to say more so them, but again, it could be, could be reverse. One of you doesn't really have the same intention. Doesn't mean, doesn't want to see you, doesn't want to be together. But someone's telling you, yes, I can't wait to see you. I'm going to see you. It's going to happen. But they don't really have the intention to follow through with that. They're they're like they do, but they don't. Do you get what I'm saying? Someone's got cold feet. It's almost like it's been built up so long. Someone's almost afraid. Someone keeps coming up with excuses. I feel like it's more so them. Um, but with the seven of swords here, there's deception. There's a lie that's being told. And again, I don't, listen, I do not justify negative actions and behaviors. You know, my whole purpose and intention here is the, you're coming here for information. You're here because you're looking for truth. You need to know. You already know what you think and what you feel and what you want. Your purpose for being here is that you need to know what this person thinks, what they feel, what their intentions are, what you can expect from them. Are you wasting your time? Because time is precious. Time is valuable. Okay. Okay. And so the truth here is that this person, I do feel strongly wants to see you, wants to be with you, but they're almost afraid. I feel like they're, they're keeping that bit to themselves. With this seven of swords energy, I feel like you're going to be let down. Okay, there's this, these like you guys are really working up this next opportunity. Like this is it, this is it, this is it for us. And something comes up again. Seven of swords, disappointment. It doesn't work out for whatever reason. It doesn't come together something they're not saying you the whole truth okay now where you are you feel distant from this person but you're still very hopeful with the world card it does talk about travel distance potentially someone that you've met online okay with the world here it feels like you do see possibilities you know one chapter closing a new one beginning like this could be it for us you know but you know with the two of wands here it's showing that there are multiple paths multiple directions that can be taken and you still have not made up your mind completely if this is if i mean you feel like this is it, right? You don't want to give up on it, but you know that there is there is a chance that it won't come together. As much as you don't want to look at it, you do see that potential there that, you know, though you may get everything you've ever wanted and more, like it has to work out. It has to. There's also a chance that, again, it'll just be this continual cycle that could intentionally be the same thing over and over again where it just doesn't work out, doesn't come together. And that's your fear. 
your fear here is that this person is just telling the things that they want to hear that it's just a sexual connection that maybe they don't truly have the same feelings that you do because they're not as invested in seeing you as you are in them um but with this king of wands energy i feel like this person definitely doesn't much, much desire you and you desire them king of wands is spontaneous and fun and adventurous and but i think part of your fear is what if it's just that for them what if this is just a, a fun just something to pass the time with what if they're not as serious as you are what if they don't want commitment the way that you do i'm actually going to pull some additional cards that is for leo as well um just to kind of find out more because i feel like this is kind of a specific reading i want to find out why they're why they're not moving, right? What is, what is, why have they done this in the past? Nine of Wands. It's almost like this person very much likes you, Ace of Wands under the deck, but it's like they're guarded, they're nervous, they may feel like they're not enough for you, especially if they've kind of put you on this pedestal here and see you as the star. I mean, they could see you as somebody Maybe they don't feel like you're going to think, think, think they're attractive in person or a lot of time has passed or something. Um, you may not like them the way that they like you. There were things they didn't tell you. Maybe they put on weight. They're, they could be using old photos or something. Or they don't live in the nicest house or they have like a past or a history you don't know about. I mean, I mean, I'm honestly kind of feeling like this person's just like really in their head, like they're overthinking. Every they're not telling you that, like they're overthinking everything. Um, Virgo energy with the Hermit, like this person like works a lot. They don't go out a lot. They're you know not very social. Honestly, I don't feel like you know somebody stuck in their parents' basement. You know, like that. It's like it's more so like they overthink they look i'm mean, again i see look he's looking at the star it's like they're watching you and just feeling like they don't deserve you like well they're too homely or something and i don't even feel like it's necessarily that because i think that you do like this person but i think that this person has very low self-esteem they're very emotionally guarded yeah they feel like they don't deserve you or something what okay why is seven of swords here clarify that one for me I mean, you could be done with the younger earth sign or this person, I mean, could be kind of worried that their reputation, their status isn't enough, that they're not, they haven't made a big enough name for themselves. Uh, they could be worried about their appearance, like their heights, or they may have kids. One more. I feel like this person is, I feel like they're insecure. And I mean, take no offense to that. I mean, they may be secure in other ways, but I feel like there's like, they don't feel like they amount to enough for you or they're almost overthinking or in their head, analyzing it because they feel like they don't have enough to give or enough to offer or, you know, there's like a worry or a fear. Because in the outcome, you know, what I am seeing there is the Five of Cups, which does say disappointment. So I do see that you're, again, like I said, you're disappointed. Whatever transpires here, it's like it doesn't work. You don't see them. You don't get together. They're, 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 they're afraid. It's like they're afraid to disappoint you. Like they're afraid to give you this news. They know that you're not going to like it. They don't know how to say this to you. They don't know how to just tell you the truth. That they're, they don't, like maybe you're, like for instance, like let's say that you're planning to go out and see them. Their house is not as nice as they say it is. Or their family's crazy or something or they are really um self-conscious or they're having a hard time financially whatever the case may be they're not telling you everything it's like i don't feel like they have like a wife and six kids that you don't know about i feel like this person is almost like it's it's been so long they're so in their head about it they are overthinking every little thing and thinking that they're just not going to be enough for you and they're going to risk this connection completely forever it's over it's done with because if it doesn't work out 
that's it. All the years, all the time, all the months, all the talks, all the energy that was invested in this was for nothing. It's like they just keep trying to like keep trying to like go back to the drawing board and like reinvent themselves or fix themselves. You know, it's like disappointment. There are still a ch like, I do feel like the two of you will eventually see each other or will come together, but there's like this again a missed op a missed chance or a missed opportunity. Let me pull some cards here. So here we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And I, and I, and I honestly am feeling like it's it's in regards to this person, like just kind of feeling so down on themselves. And I'm not saying that they don't have self esteem, like they don't feel confident in anything that they do, but I, I honestly feel like this person just like talking themselves out of it, or they have a lot of insecurities that you're unaware of. Um, like they don't feel worthy of you in a sense. And this person may feel like they just don't have enough to offer or they're, they're so afraid of like risking or losing this because I think that you both see so much potential here. They're afraid they're going to mess it up. You know, maybe this person's been really conditioned in past relationships to think this way about themselves. You know, but they have to kind of let go of that to be able to see things clearly. That it's not about that. Like you both feel the same way. It's not, you know one-sided their messages to you i know you see me in a different light now yeah they definitely know that you're disappointed with them because the past they've hurt you a lot they've made you feel rejected or you know it's like you, they hurt you because there's been a lot of failed attempts here i feel your love is healing the broken parts of me yes this person does have some wounds that they are working on and like the way that you love them it is giving them this kind of confidence it is helping them to heal it has and they don't want to lose that they're so afraid of losing you it's like they realize that this is it all or nothing it's like if we meet and it doesn't work out and we come together again and it doesn't work out that's it it's just it's over we're not it's not going to go back to how it was like i'd rather have some of you than none of you it's like that's their mind they're, they're afraid of I'm ashamed of how I keep letting you down. Like, this person is beating themselves up over this. It does bother them. Like, say, they know that they've hurt you, that you know, you look at them differently now. And a lot of them, they could see it as, like, you know, so much time has passed. You may not, you know, know what they look like physically now or something. And that's what they're worried about. But your love is healing them. They are ashamed of letting you down. I do feel like, I'll be honest, and again, time energy is fluid. Some of this could change, you know, over time. But right now, I feel like there's going to be disappointment in this meeting that you guys are planning, okay? But the wish, the hope is still there. They still dream of this. And I do feel like there'll be an opportunity to fix it, to see each other again. But they're trying to figure out how to do this. I think this person definitely has some wounds. They need some a lot of reassurance. They're kind of afraid to say that. I, I honestly kind of get like an energy of like you know like what's that what are they like toxic masculinity it's like they've constantly been told men are not supposed to have these insecurities not supposed to talk about them push it down whether they're male or female right but that's what i have for you thank you so much for watching thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations it is greatly appreciated as always i wish you strength and many blessings Bye bye